If you guys are looking for some fast, cheap, and reliable coins, go check out buycheapfifacoins.com and use discount code CURTIS for 5% off. They're the cheapest and most reliable place around. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new episode of Players New to FIFA 15. This is a little series that I have started up recently where I'm going to be uh, looking at players that could possibly either be new to FIFA 15 or return. Basically, if they haven't been in FIFA 14, these are the, they're the sort of players I'm going to be talking about. If you haven't already checked out the first episode, I recommend you do so. Uh, we talked about Arigi and a few other really cool players, so definitely go check that out. Also, if we could hit 500 likes in this video, guys, that would be absolutely brilliant. So, let's get stuck into it with the first player and that is Nabil Bentaleb. Now these are the sort of stats I've given him. I bumped it up from what his uh, current career mode rating is. I think he's either a 69 or a 70 on career uh, in the latest update. But I feel like he deserves a bit better than that for next season. He did have a pretty good end to the year for Tottenham. Um, so the reason why he wasn't in FIFA 14, uh, I'm assuming it's because he was a fringe player. Wasn't involved, like wasn't a known player at all at the start of FIFA. So he wouldn't have had a reason to be on Ultimate Team. And obviously as he's got uh, more involved in the first team, they've had to put him in career. Why will he be in FIFA? 15 well obviously if he's featuring in Tottenham more regularly now he's obviously going to be in the actual game uh, as you can see as well as I've also given him two star skills and three star weak foot that's just matching what EA have given him on career mode and uh, head to head already as obviously that's what you should be getting Next up, we have Alberto Moreno. Now, the fact he's down a Sevilla is very possible uh, that it could change. Now, he's linked very, very heavily with Liverpool at the moment. Uh, they seem to be really desperate to sign him, or Rodgers does uh, at least. And it's looking possible that he could be making that move over there. Now, I actually kind of knew quite a bit about him because I'd uh, done a... Um, Severe football manager uh, career, so I kind of like used him quite a bit. So I was very surprised to find out he wasn't actually already in FIFA 14. I don't really understand why he played about 15 games for them last season. He actually was involved in like the Spanish under 21s and stuff, so it seems really weird for him not to be involved. But nonetheless, uh, with 29 games after under his belt this year and a very, very good year, and possibly moving to Liverpool, you will expect to see him in next year's FIFA. Looks like a really good left back on FIFA, too. Next up, we have Asamoah Jan. Now, obviously, you guys all know he is. He had a really, really good World Cup. He was amazing at Sunderland, and he's currently at Ally Inn. Now, um... He obviously isn't in the game because Ally Inn and their league are the United Arab Emirates. I can't remember the name of the league, which is kind of bad. But uh, they don't have licensed uh, FIFA stuff. Now, FIFA every year are looking to get more and more stuff licensed. And it's very possible after last year we got the Saudi League that United Arab Emirates League could be put on the game. There's a couple good players playing over there, so it would be good if they did so. But uh, that would be why he could be in it next year. Obviously, I've been given uh, free star skills and free star week for as his foot World Cup card has. As obviously he was over there for uh, playing at the World Cup for Ghana. So, uh, it'd be great to see him in next FIFA and fingers crossed he's in there. Next up, we have Julian Green. What a World Cup this dude had. He only featured in two games, but if you remember that one against Belgium, he came on and he scored the goal for the US to bring him back in it. And I'll be honest with you, I sat there and watched about a, a 15 minute video about this kid and he looks so exciting. I am... Uh, I'm happy that he's at Bayern for the fact that he's at such a great club and if he does get a chance to show what he can do, he will really actually be amazing. But I'm also a bit sad the fact that he's probably not going to be getting the game time that he could possibly get. I hope he goes out on loan or something because honestly, guys, I do recommend you go and watch these clips. He's been playing for the Bayern second team and it looks so good. His turn of pace is absolutely amazing. His dribbling just seems so good. I wanted to give him more than an 81 dribbling, but I know for a silver it's just unrealistic. His finishing just seemed top. Every single thing, every one-on-one -on -one with a goalie, he seemed to just smash him. Just in general, his whole positioning. I know I'm really, really going on about him here, but honestly, guys, he really did look like a really solid player. So hopefully he gets loaned out to another German side this year. Someone like Borussia Mönchengladbach, I think, would suit him perfectly for a season. Actually get some game time under his belt, and he's a really exciting-looking player. So uh, the reason why I wasn't in FIFA 14 is because the by and second side don't really have any players on here and the reason why he might be on it next year is because he had such a good world cup and people are going to be more interested in particularly the americans so that could be a reason why he gets in so that is actually the end of this episode here, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Leave a like if you did. I've already got a bunch of players planned for the next episode, but I still want to keep this going on for as long as I can. So if you want to comment down below any players you'd like to see me uh, look at who could possibly be in future FIFA, stick that comment down below. Let me know what you think. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed this sub if you're new around here. Have a nice day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.